Welcome to Train Sim World, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left, and right. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle towards you to get moving. In Train Sim World, the Harlem Line runs for 24 miles from Grand Central Terminal and ferries commuters north through the iconic neighborhood of Harlem to the commercial hub of White Plains, Westchester. of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train.
we've only explored a small area here. So let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the Harlem Line, in one of the most famous cities in the world, New York. Here you can experience a bustling corridor in the heart of Manhattan. Ferry commuters in and out of the iconic Grand Central Terminal. Hurry them across the tightly packed Park Avenue, over the Harlem River, and out to the New York suburbs. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, put up posters, replace the fire extinguishers, and clean up the recycling. Operate classic and modern equipment through the city that never sleeps. This is Train Sim World, Harlem Line, Grand Central Terminal to North White Plains. Welcome to Crewe, located in the northwest of England. Step back in time and discover the soot and sounds of the steam era. Climb aboard iconic living locomotives hungry for coal and water. And work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic Merseyside and Cheshire. There's an empty poster over there. Let's fix that while we're here. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to refill sand buckets, fill coal sacks, place travel posters, and light braziers. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Take a seat in first class. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. This train is powered by an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive. These were built between 1934 and 1936 and originally nicknamed Red Staniers because of their original crimson livery, but later earned the nickname Jubilee when one of their class was named Silver Jubilee in recognition of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. During your journey as a driver on this route, you'll learn to drive this locomotive as well as the LMS Stania Class 8F, a freight locomotive. You'll learn to haul a variety of different freight between the bustling yards and perform both express and local stopping passenger services. Learn all there is to know about operating these iconic locomotives in an era when steam was king. Welcome to Train Sim World Spirit of Steam, Liverpool to Crew.
Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of the many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the drive. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle backwards to get moving. of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right.
This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate the position the power control is in. These are the brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle forwards to get moving. The Riza to Dresden mainline runs for roughly 80 kilometers and runs both express and mainline passenger services, as well as a variety of freight from the local industries. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train.
You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Dresden in eastern Germany, located in Saxony on the River Elbe. Experience a multitude of operations expanding out of the iconic Dresden Hauptbahnhof, with commuters and international travellers converging to make a hustle and bustle mix of S-Bahn, regional, intercity and freight traffic. Along the way be sure to place route maps, restock first aid points, paint garden gnomes and clean up spray paint cans. Choose commuter or heavy freight traffic as you take a trip through the picturesque German countryside. Welcome to Riesa Dresden. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A heads up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience.
The Brighton Main Line runs for roughly 55 miles and runs express services to Gatwick Airport as well as commuter services between Brighton and London, Victoria. This particular train is a Gatwick Express Class 387 electric multiple unit and consists of eight cars. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Brighton Mainline, located in the southeast of England. Here you can experience one of Britain's busiest main lines linking the capital to the seaside resort of Brighton via the international hub of Gatwick Airport. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, put up tourist posters, refill newspaper stands and put up seagull signs. Choose express services to Gatwick or packed commuter services through the British countryside. Welcome to Brighton Mainline, London, Victoria to Brighton. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right hand corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. 
This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature are an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle forwards to get moving. This part of the Cornish main line runs for roughly 44 miles and runs commuter services between Penzance and St Austell. It also covers commuter services along the St Ives branch line. This particular train is the BR Class 150-2 diesel multiple unit in regional railways livery and consists of two cars. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the West Cornwall Local. Take control of moving commuters and tourists across gorgeous Cornish scenery, past lapping waves on beautiful coastal beaches, through scenic countryside to bustling towns, exploring the St Ives branch line and local industry. Make sure to refuel and use the carriage washers. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, place luggage on the carts, enjoy an ice cream and put up posters. This is the West Cornwall Local. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one.
you can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. The Laramie subdivision runs for 60 miles between Cheyenne and Laramie, Wyoming, and delivers heavy freight over the 2,000-foot climb to the summit of Sherman Hill. This locomotive is an EMD SD70ACE diesel locomotive and is rated at 4,300 horsepower. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. We've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Sherman Hill, Wyoming. Here you can experience challenging grades, heavy freight, and iconic motive power in the heart of Union Pacific Territory. Along the way, be sure to uncover fossils, repair broken snow fences, install safety signs, and put up jackalope warnings. Conquer the Continental Divide and keep America thriving. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, Sherman Hill, Cheyenne to Laramie. Welcome to Train Sim World 2 an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. This is one of the many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat.
The experience can be paused, so objectives can be reviewed. Try it and return when ready. A HUD has appeared on the right side of your screen. This is your guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. Arrows indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate the position the throttle is set at. These are the brake indicators. These show the states of the various brake systems. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These provide an indication of what signals and speed limits are approaching and a countdown distance of when they'll come into effect. Train Sim World 2 has a lot of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. This is just the start. Horseshoe Curve has a lot more to enjoy. Immerse yourself in modern American freight railroading as Norfolk Southern totes long trains over steep Allegheny Mountain grades. On Skyhook Games, train SimWorld 2 Horseshoe Curve. Along the way, don't forget to clean the whistle posts, move the tripods, pick up safety helmets, and place posters on the poster boards. Welcome to Horseshoe Curve. Welcome to Train Sim World 2 an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. 
These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of the many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated... This part of the S-Bahn Zentralschweiz, Luzernsoße, runs for roughly 25 kilometers and runs commuter services between Luzern and Soße. This particular train is the SBB RABE 523 electric multiple unit in SBB livery and consists of four cars. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to S-Bahn Zentralschweiz, Luzern to Sursee. Take control of SBB's RABE 523 EMU in central Switzerland and learn ETCS Level 0 and Level 1 on this standard gauge route. Take passengers along the shores of beautiful Lake Sempach, past the imposing Chateau Gutsch and Reusstopf Bridge and park up for the night at Luzern Depot. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps. 
refill newspaper stands, repair broken bikes and put up posters. This is S-Bahn Zentralschweiz.